all right y'all we are back with another video and it seems like tucker carson is back on the scene and look tucker is doing a great job by himself we all can say that i mean his twitter followers i mean the the work that this man is constantly putting in day in and day out this man right here is a hard working man shout out to tucker carson and uh we got another one from benny and this one is called that fox news freaks out cuts live feed as tucker fans trolls them on air and they cut the feed wow so i definitely got to jump straight into this one let's see exactly what happened man that's why i'm saying fox news should have kept tucker bro they should have uh, kept tucker because i mean ever since he didn't left everything tucker do it does numbers everything his everything he do it does numbers shout out to him shout out to trump man two legends in my book man two legends uh before we get to the video make sure you hit that like button uh subscribe to the channel shout out to everybody showing so much support everybody been leaving positive comments in the comment section and i also want to thank everybody that clicked on this video for the very first time i appreciate you as well and, and uh, another thing i want to say is shout out to everybody that's been joining the channel uh becoming channel members i really really appreciate that as well and uh like i said i will be uh starting to go live very very soon so y'all get ready for that we finna start going live and talking about a lot of stuff so that's what i'm working on now i'm getting all this stuff situated now but uh without further ado let's dive straight into it y'all and let's see exactly what's going on What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. Beware yep. of the laws of unintended consequences. Fox News wanted to get rid of Tucker Carlson on their airwaves, mm -hmm. but he keeps coming back. Keep Fox coming News back. had to cut off a live interview because the interviewer was talking about how much they love Tucker Carlson's new show on X. Yep. Tucker Carlson returns, baby. Yep. You can't kill an idea and strike me down and I shall come back more powerful than you can possibly imagine. And that's exactly what Tucker Carlson is doing right now. Now, what was happening yesterday, there was a live event going on. Five were injured at a shooting in Maryland State University, uh, and the suspect is at large. So this was the news event that was breaking. So Fox News brought on a live caller who was a witness to this news event. Fox News gets trolled by caller during live shooting of coverage. Check this out. You will be in stitches oh tyrone man on the phone with us now tyrone when you tyrone. say poker game what exactly happened what transpired well first we were watching we we'll all get together every tuesday night and we watch tucker carlson's show on x we used to watch <laughs> him on fox news obviously he's not there no more <laughs> and still being the most credible guy in the media in america we always get together to watch Tucker Carlson, and I think he's doing probably better now that he's not with Fox News because the corporate <laughs> media always controls what yeah. the teleprompter readers are able to say. And now that he doesn't Thank have you, that hand Thanks, Tyron. Can we back. maybe we can work to get Don back on the phone, Tracy? We can get that clearly. <laughs> that is not a student at State University. Uh, oh man, Tyrone! <laughs> Tyrone was playing poker. <laughs> They're going to try oh, to cut them off. baby, it's so delicious. What happened there? Fox News was forced to hurriedly drop a caller who claimed to be on the scene of a shooting in Baltimore. Saw uh, victims. The network was covering the event when a caller who named, who was named Tyrone was put on the air after claiming to producers that he was able to uh, see what happened over a poker game. <laughs> <laughs> well, first thing we were watching, we were all get together Tuesday night watching Tucker Carlson's show on X. How <laughs> we used to watch him on Fox News. Oh man, corporate media controls the teleprompter and what they are allowed to say. Oh, this is just delicious. So what happened here? Well, it's our friend Mark Dice. Mark Dice called and trolled Fox during this moment. Mark Dice is no friend of Fox News. Mark Dice has been banned from Fox News. I, I think many years ago he was banned from Fox News for pranks like this. He is a, a commentator, YouTuber, uh, and somebody who tweeted this morning, yeah, it was me who culture jammed Fox News live on air. While shooting uh, of this kind is terrible, important to inform the public about the potential danger, cable news always exploits tragedies in order to keep viewers glued to their screens and mm -hmm. fill their time with anything available to them. In case, this case, some random caller whose name and identity they didn't even bother to verify before putting it on air, somebody who's supposed to know what really happened. So there you go. <laughs> Producer ALX with his spooky 
uh, Avatar. Go follow ALX, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, 600,000 people. Let's go. Uh, saying legend. There you go. So that is precisely what happened. But, ladies and gentlemen, is it the first time that Fox News has been trolled by Tucker Carlson? Of course not. During Fox News' first debate night, mm -hmm. which should have had 25 million viewers, that was cut in half. Fox News actually had 12 million viewers because Tucker Carlson dropped an interview with Donald Trump, who refused to go to the debate. Yep. And that, that interview on X got 266 million views. Fox That's News, a lot. on the other hand, had 12 million lot. viewers. And Elon Musk saying, interesting to hear things directly versus through the media filter. Mm. People are watching independent media. And we thank you, of course, for watching our channel. Please subscribe. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been a crisis for Fox. Not the first time that Donald Trump has trolled Fox News with Tucker Carlson at a speech. Trump talked about his show with Tucker, and Fox News had to cut away. Watch. And we're at just about 60% already, and we're going up, and we're the only ones going up. They're going down. They're going down, down, down. They ought to stop wasting their time. You know, they're wasting a lot of time with these ridiculous debates that nobody's watching. Their last debate was the lowest rated debate in history. Ooh. That's a good compliment, isn't it? And what was I doing, Marjorie? I was someplace else, wasn't I, huh? I was doing another interview. We had 271 million people listening to the Tucker Carlson interview. That's an all time. Uh oh. Yeah. So here we are, uh, back in the thick of <laughs> cut away, campaign cut away, cut season. Away, cut away. We are now just four <laughs> months away from the so Iowa funny. primaries. And you see former President so Trump funny. in a place where you would expect to see him. Yeah, all right. So Fox struggles without Trump. Uh, these are the headlines. The cycle aired on Wednesday night. Fox News seeing a decline in viewers compared to the record-setting numbers of 2015. A spokesperson for Fox has said that they had 12 million viewers. And that is a... A viewership cut of 50%. Wow. Debate ratings, 12 million watched the GOP candidates, minus Trump battle on Fox. With Fox, it was more around 25 to 30 million. So what do the numbers play out? Well, Tucker Carlson's 250 million, 260 million, and Fox News is 12 million. There you go. Now, they got community noted on this, which I think is a little unfair, but whatever. I mean, what it says is that these are the people who saw the interview on X. But, you know, did that mean they actually watched it? Well, I can tell you this. Nielsen, as somebody who used to have a cable news show, Nielsen mm -hmm. ratings are deeply inaccurate and do not judge whether someone's eyeballs are locked on the TV screen. The Nielsen boxes can pick up a program being played, sure, but does that mean that someone's sitting on the couch watching it? Or is it just playing in the background while you cook dinner? I mean, th these ratings are imperfect at best. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Fox I get what he's saying. shows on X, says Elon Musk. That would risk an epic ratio from Tucker, says ALX. <laughs> it's true. One billion impressions on the latest 11 episodes of Tucker Carlson's show on X. If you're a journalist, do consider bringing your show to this platform. A billion impressions. Damn, a billion. that's a lot. For those considering putting their Ooh. work on X, says Elon, consider Tucker Carlson's show when he was on TV had single-digit million viewers, which is super strong by legacy standards. Views on the... Episodes on X now exceed the population of the United States. Talk to Earth via X, says Elon. Well, ladies and gentlemen, please observe what Elon was talking about here. Here's Tucker Carlson's interview with the next president of Argentina, Javier Mele. And this guy's interview did even more than Donald Trump's by an order of magnitude. Close to half a billion people saw this interview, even if they're just seeing it for the first time. That's a lot of people. Doesn't mean that they, like, watched all the way through every second of it. That's not how ratings work. The ratings are how many people had access or were influenced by the content in the media you're putting out. Half a billion? Holy schmoly. This is, without question, and demonstrably the most viewed interview of all time. Tucker Carlson. That's a lot of views, y'all. That's a lot of views. 421 million views. Good gracious. Good for Tucker. Incredible, and that's this is those right. That'll be kind of like the views you will get on like a music video or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, even Elon said, "Look, Fox News, y'all want to get a lot of views. Won't y'all just put y'all show on X?" Mostly everything Tucker Carson do, and I mentioned this: everything he do, everything he upload does numbers. Two hundred and fifty million. To Fox News, 12.8 million. And I see that every time somebody mentioned 
Tucker, they cut live feed every single time. They do not want to hear. Imagine where Fox News would be at now if they still had Tucker. Like, come on, man. Like, you get rid of somebody like Tucker is not a smart move. And he's doing good all by himself. Running his own show that's doing extraordinary. I mean, he getting the impressions a lot of people can't get. Shout out to Tucker Carson, man. That's why I have so much respect for him. You see uh, Trump is very highly of him and stuff like that. Shout out to Trump. Shout out to Tucker Carson, man. Now, we already know that Tucker going to keep thriving. He going to keep doing what he do best. But that was funny. It is funny that every time somebody mentioned Tucker Carson to Fox News, or whether it's an interview or whatever, they try to cut it and try to, you know, get them on out of there. That's crazy. But it's y'all fault. Y'all got rid of them. This is a Spanish language interview. Spanish language. The reason why we go hard at Fox over this kind of stuff is the disrespect. We work very hard to create an audience here. We yep. love you. Yep. We love our audience and what we're building here. We're very proud of it. We worked hard uh, to build this audience. It takes a very long time to build an audience, especially if you have big shoes to fill. Tucker Carlson recently interviewed the guy who, uh, whose shoes he filled at Fox News, uh, a man named Bill O'Reilly. So here's the two of them together. Okay. Uh, talking a considerable amount of about Fox News. But the point here is not to shove a thumb in Fox News's eye necessarily. It is the disrespect of the audience. Man, like you disrespected Tucker's audience. It, let's say you wanted to fire Tucker. The way to do it in respect the audience would be to say, Tucker, we need to part ways. You're going to have a month to sign off. Mm -hmm. Let's craft a narrative. We can't have your show anymore. So we're going to give you a month to sign off, a month to like tell your audience where to find you, a month to say goodbye, a month to bring in your favorite uh, guests or your favorite interviewees, and a month to like s give, give the old sign off, the old salutation. Instead, they fired him in the dark of night over a weekend, and his show was just done. That is disrespectful to the it audience. It is. Now, I, I will never it forgive is. Fox News for that. I'm sorry. As a creator, you just cannot forgive Fox News for that. Tucker Carlson was effectively had a reverse interview where Dave Portnoy interviewed him and asked him about his firing from Fox and what happened. And Tucker sort of revealing to us, um, you know, what we what we assumed went on here. Which was an enormous... And then, I see this right here. It said, in his interview with Barstool's Dave Portnoy, it took a car some reveals that within an hour of his firing... Like, that that right there is... How can you fire somebody like Tucker Carson? How? You see what happened when y'all did? Y'all lost a lot of people. Y'all lost views. And, it, like... Like, I don't see how y'all... I can't see how Fox News did that. But it said in his interview with Barstool's Dave Portnoy, Ed Tucker Carson reveals that within an hour of his firing from Fox News, Elon Musk reached out to his producer, Justin Wilson, and suggested that they should start a show on X. So, so Tucker don't have to worry about anything because Elon Musk, the owner of Twitter, was the one that reached out to him and said, hey, you start your show on X. Now look what happened. Look at the views that Tucker Carson is getting. Everything, it ain't just one video. It ain't just a video. Of course, the one he did with Trump is like got way more. But even when he doing stuff alone or by himself, when he covering just certain topics, he getting a lot of views. Man, getting like 21 million views, impression. Like he's, he's up there. And I know Fox News feels salty. I bet they saying, man, I wish we would have kept him. I bet you they saying that because they probably had no idea he was going to go to Twitter and do these type of numbers on his own. Mm. Boy, boy, boy. Amount of people pulling against Tucker because he tells the truth. Yep. And then not realizing that mm -hmm. that is the future. The truth shall set you free. Watch. You're kind of similar. What? Now, let me ask you this. Before the Fox unwinded. Um, you mean I got fired? Yes. <laughs> Did you think you, like, were you an uh, ardent, like, go Fox, go guy? Or do my view on Fox hasn't really changed. They let me say whatever I want, whatever I wanted, really, for 14 years. And I, I'll never stop being grateful for that. And then, obviously, I said too much. And I'm not exactly sure what I said that was bad. No one ever told me. But one day, they're like, oh, can't have this anymore. And they fired me. And I even told them as they were firing me, like, it's your business. I made a pencil up, never work for anyone else again. 
and, I'll, and I never will. But um, I can't be mad about it. I mean, they were they were great to me. I, the Murdochs were always nice to me, and uh, and one day for whatever reason they'd had enough. So I wasn't. My feelings weren't hurt. I was not expecting it. So were you like right. when for, for me when I was with Penn? I knew there were things. It's like oh, I can't go there. They made that clear. Did you feel like at Fox you could say whatever you want? Well, there was always internal. Pu- I mean, they, the Murdochs were always not. They never got in my way at all. They were always super nice to me. But okay. there were you know small my it's a company run by fearful women yeah you know what i mean and there were always like neck you know second tier people who are hassling my producers but no one ever called me i got along with everybody but i mean i think they knew like the, the censorship is that's not like i'm not don't yeah. welcome that you right. know so um but they never actually got in the way of anything our view on the war in ukraine was really really hated i could feel it and my view was not pro-russia never has been pro-russia just like this okay. is not our fight. It's not good for us. We should just put an end to the war because people die in war. I've seen it. It's bad. And just saying that was considered like crazy pro-Kremlin propaganda. And they were very mad about that. But to their credit, they never said anything to me about it directly. I could just smell it. And uh, so I, I really just don't have any complaints. And I will say, and I know that you've experienced this, you know, it's true. Being humiliated in public, being fired, I have been a couple of times, is totally good for you in the end because mm-hmm. it keeps you from thinking you're Jesus or like getting like super crazy hubris guy, you know? I would think with you, it would have increased. So I, we, we spoke, mm, I don't know, last time I was there and, and you, you may correct me if I'm wrong. I never really struck you as a huge technology guy. You were like, no. even, even today, you're like, I Googled for the first time. So now you go to Twitter. I hate technology. Right. So, which is now. I hate electricity. Actually, that's how I feel so about it. So you talk her on X and all that stuff. Have you been surprised? It seems as if your microphone has gotten quite a bit larger. Yes. So have you been surprised by that? No, I've been grateful for it. I, I mean, we, like within hours of getting the boot, thankfully they fired my executive producer, Justin Wells, like within four minutes of firing me. Yeah. And he really didn't do anything wrong. He was the best. So he didn't even do nothing wrong, but they just fired me. It seemed like it was a whole buildup. Like they were just... So you know what? It's time to move on. But you got to realize something like that can really, really backfire. You getting rid of Tucker Carson. And then I know they upset because now they can look and see, look at the numbers that this man does on Twitter that we ain't even doing on YouTube. And imagine, like I said before, Tucker being back on Fox or something, but he just said he'll never work for nobody again. Which he don't need to because if he's doing Twitter and he getting the views and the impressions and all that that he's getting, he don't need to work for nobody no more. He don't have to be put in a position where he can be fired or he got to watch what he say. You got to realize the owner of Twitter reached out to him and said, hey, start a show. So you know Elon ain't finna stop Tucker from saying anything. So now he's free to say whatever he want because he no longer have a boss. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Tucker, man. Shout out to Tucker producer by, I mean, by in all of television and everyone knew it and fox has a lot of nice people a lot of very incompetent people obviously running it and he was one of the only competent people in the whole business but they fired him too and within i don't know an hour of that happening elon called him and said you should come to twitter so i'll never stop being grateful for that i don't we don't work for elon or anything but we're using the site like everyone else uses it which is as a mm-hmm. platform that's not censored yeah and i'm super grateful for that I do think the downside to social media is you can get involved in like people's responses too much. Yes. No, that's soul death. Yeah. It's so. So do you just ignore it all? Oh, I really try to yeah. because underneath. Because it, they were talking about you just as much when you're on Fox. Oh, I never looked at anything. I never read. I mean, I know who I am for all of my many faults. I mm-hmm. know who I am, and I don't need other people to tell me who I am. Right. There and you I go. Don't. If my wife has views, or my children have views, or my college roommates you know have a view i'll listen and pay attention but someone i never met i don't give a shit what do you, you care about the numbers <laughs> like with the trump thing that you just did like awesome my guy he's like it's 100 million it's 200 million it's like numbers that are beyond compare that you really couldn't see in fox do you care at all about do you look like holy shit i mean we're starting this? out so like you want to you know you want to just sh- you want to show a force and like we're still here and yeah, like right. mm-hmm you know, whatever, Paul Ryan didn't like me, but you can't make me shut up. So I think it, it does send a message that I think is good, not just for me, but for the country. Um, but no, I'm not a numbers person at all. And like, I never was on our Fox email ratings list ever. Not one time. Ask anybody who worked with me. And I, I didn't know how to read a ratings chart. I never looked at our ratings. 
I would say to my producer once a month, how are we doing? Still number one, great. That was it. Like I don't look at that stuff because I don't wanna be self-aware because self-awareness leads to self-obsession, which leads to narcissism and misery. So yep. just stay exactly away from right. yourself. Yep. We think about ourselves enough, don't you think? I'm a numbers guy. <laughs> no, but, you're, but numbers, you run a yeah. business, yeah, so I right. don't. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, like I couldn't run a business. If I ran a business, we'd be broke the first day. <laughs> It'd be tough to go broke with those numbers on Twitter. No, but I'm just saying, like, yeah. I would no, manage I to, yeah. to blow it all and, or just not, I don't know. That's not my gift. I talk, I don't do business. Shout out to Tucker, man. Shout out to Tucker. Um, but like I said, he's doing good on his own. He no longer need anybody. I don't think Tucker needed nobody in the first place. But man, he said, "Hey, if he if Tucker was it was still with Fox, and he asked the producer, he they constantly telling him that, hey, we still number one. Why would you get rid of somebody if he's one of the reason, if not the main reason, y'all are number one? Then you get rid of him." I just don't get that. But like I said, once again, you know, a business is a business. Just how business go. But Tucker is doing great on, on Twitter. He's doing his thing. He's putting up numbers. So, hey, it is what it is. Y'all get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about all of this. And I will leave the original video in the description. So make sure y'all go check it out. Thank you all for watching. And I'll catch you later.